okay so so this is a question on um, writing a pseudocode for um, theater booking so it says um, so this is the problem statement the seating map for the particular performance at a theater contains 70 rows and 100 seats each so this variables um, have been made so we have to assume that it has been made okay and uh, if there's some other variables to be defined so we'll define it and we have to define a two-dimensional error to represent a seating map right so um, we should be able to modify this map using just two lines of code then it goes on to say that input the row number and seat number until it is valid and once it is valid mark it as x and uh, once it is uh, marked as ma marked as x um, we have to output the current uh, situation or the current seating map in terms of reserved seats um, done available seats that is still there for booking and uh, the seats that have been reserved and so this will uh, so it doesn't say how long the program will go on ideally uh, this booking program will go on either <coughs> till um, the booking is completed it is houseful or the user whoever is using the system says okay um, I want to get out of my program so so this something uh, these two aspects is not clearly mentioned though it says once the user quits it may mean um, the reservation is uh, over uh, and um, not exactly the user quitting the program itself so let's see uh, what is the pseudocode for it right so here is a pseudocode written so we start and uh, this start has an end and where's the end so here so here it stops okay so, so let's start this let's do so declaration so we uh, have introduced two um, so I have introduced two variables number of rows and seats per row which is 70 and 100 so when we say we uh, we should be able to modify the seating map using two lines of code these are the two lines of code if it is whatever the number of rows is just mention it over here and whatever the seats per row is mention it over here once we have this number we create a two-dimensional array of care type that is one character so we'll create a seating map of number of rows and seats per row so this will um, create 70 star 100 17 to 100 7000 entries and the uh, rest of um, the variables were defined um, earlier the desired row number desired seat number current row current seat row seats reserved total seats reserved seats available right so I have defined these three variables whether it's a valid row and seat uh, so we want to use this variable in case to find out if uh, for a particular row and seat is it valid to go ahead and book it and uh, we also want to know if the booking I think do, I don't think this is required now so booking progress is required it's not required to know because we will be keeping a check on seats available so the moment the seats are over the booking process gets over this variable is uh, in case user wants to quit the program himself so we use this variable for that and now the actual program starts so initially we just make sure the sitting map array is um, set to nothing so there's nothing so no character so see then we initialize the total seats reserved to be zero and the number of seats that is available is number of rows into seats per row that is 7000 seats are available so while the seats are available and quit program is still false we have to loop so for this while there's a this is the end while 
so this will keep on looping until those two conditions are this condition is satisfied the moment the condition is not satisfied it will come out automatically so once we get inside we check whether the row seat is valid so for this while there is an end while so that's an end while so this logic will get executed till that seat is valid so uh, what does this logic do it takes an input row from the user and stores it in uh, desired row number variable then it takes a desired seat and stores it in desired seat number once the user has provided this row number and seat number we verify we call a procedure called is valid row seat and we whatever value of so is valid row seat will return this particular value which is b valid row seat okay so let's see if this yeah if the the row seat is valid is not valid like that means it's false we say seat is not available so this was one of the condition it says um, each time um, if it if the seat is not available the program informs the user of this and that is what this is doing and uh, also it keeps on um, allows the user to continuously enter the row number seat until an appropriate value for the row number is uh, it, uh, to st is provided to stop entering input so that is what this loop is doing it keeps on asking the user for a valid row and seat number if it is valid um, it will ret it return true if it is and um, if it is true uh, this loop will break and um, will uh, a va once a valid seat and row is mentioned we go ahead and we book the seat for that particular row and seat then we print uh, the status so it mentions over here once um, so book the seat that is booking the seat is marking the seat as x and uh, once you uh, book that seat you print the current status so that is what this uh, procedure would do print seating map status so once the booking is done the printing is done we verify whether we should quit the program and we ask the user uh, if he wants to quit if he says yes we you know b quit program will become y that is yes and uh, if that is true uh, b quit program then it will break the loop and come out so how do we verify whether the row seat is valid so we check we we have stored the desired row number and the desired seat so those have to be the rows that are available so the rows that are available is 1 to number of rows that is 70 and the seats that are available is 1 to 100 so if it is not then it will mark it as false and uh, if it is false then it will simply return false but if it is true for some reason the row and seat is valid but then we have to verify whether it is reserved so we, res we verify by checking it whether it has a value of x if it has a value of x then again that row seat is still invalid so we set it to false and whatever the so in the end we return this value this procedure returns the value there's a start procedure and for this uh, this procedure ends over here so that's how the valid row seat is uh, verified and how do we book a seat so we call the procedure called book a seat so let's go down it so we mark that seating map that particular desired row and desired seat is marked as marked as x after we have made sure that seat is valid we every time a seat is booked we increase the number of seats reserved and we decrease the seats available and we say output is seat is reserved thank you so um it says once the user quits the program outputs each row number so we so we book a seat we, we also told the user the seat is booked and now we go ahead and print as per the last C requirement and uh, we call that procedure to do that which is uh, print so here we print seating map reserved seats so we have to print only the reserved seats and that is what uh, is mentioned over here that have we have to print only the seats that have been reserved 
so first the row number should be printed and then all the seat numbers should be printed for that particular row so so we have that row loop for i equal to 1 to number of rows and um, so we every time we loop for one row we print that row number then for each row we loop through for um, all the seats and we verify for that particular row and seat if it is booked then we print yeah so we have to write output over here okay so output seat number so for that particular row all the seats will be printed by this particular loop and then we move on to the next row and this will keep on printing for every row followed by the seats reserved in for that particular row and once that is done we print the total number of reserved seats which we have stored in total seats reserved and seats available so that's how the printing is done and uh, once the printing is done we give an option for um, the user to quit the program so we call this program called verify program program as to quit so we take an uh, input quit yes or no if input value is yes we set the variable be quit program equal to true else false so if it is false uh, then this loop the the main loop be quit program the moment it becomes false uh, that the moment it uh, becomes true it will quit out if the seats available have become zero for some reason it will still come out this uh, the booking process essentially gets over uh, so that's how the um, so that's how the uh, pseudocode works um, I um, some variables were not used like current row and current seat um, because those um, or oh, you can probably use them in um, over here I did need them so you can say current row right and print so you can use it for looping and current seat so we are assuming these variables are ac accessible um, across procedures uh, so for pseudocode purpose uh, we are assuming it is uh, the same variable so current seat so now current seat current row and current seat okay um, if you want to use the exact syntax so and this will be current seat and this will be end of loop of current seat and this will be end of loop of current row ok So this variable is still not used row seats uh, reserved um, one uh, possible uh, place um, maybe I didn't find the need to use that variable um, but still since you it is defined uh, earlier in the problem statement So essentially that row seats reserved was um, supposed to be used probably somewhere over here but it is not required we do have the current seat um, and we don't have to store all the seats for that particular row uh, there are multiple seats um, in a particular row and um, we cannot store all of them um, in a single um, variable called num 
um, it has definitely there are more seats in a row that are reserved so it is more than one number or more than one character x so this was not required but I have kept it because uh, uh, it was defined in the problem statement so that's how this uh, pseudocode works and uh, I will be uploading this to drive and um, sharing this video via YouTube so you can have a look at it thank you